I'm very young in my farming career. Uh, this will be my sixth crop just this year. The soil testing has been an integral part of that program and uh, just something I'll continue through my farm career. I want to manage that soil fertility and grow good crops. Soil tests should be primarily done every four years. Uh, if you get into some different cropping systems or you make some major management practice changes, probably, probably two years, but in most instances four years is, is satisfactory. On our operation, we hire our soil testing done. Uh, it just makes it easier for us. They're a very professional operation. They have the technology available to do a great job. And at $5 an acre over four years, it's just very, very cheap. Uh, there's no reason not to be soil testing. When we come to a field that needs soil tests when it falls into that schedule, uh, we'll talk with our fertilizer retailer and we'll turn in that work order with our chemical dealer and he will relay that on to our soil testing lab. Soil testing is like any other analytical process. It has two steps. You have to collect the sample and you have to do a good job at that and then we analyze the sample. The traditional timing for soil testing is in the fall and this is when the vast majority of it's done and it's an excellent time to take a soil sample. There's also an opportunity to take samples in the spring, in the late spring season, out of standing soybeans. That works very well for them, and it's a good time management tool. Due to GPS technology, we now do soil sampling on what we call a point sampling basis, where we drive to a specific point in the field, and we take the cores right around that point, and, and that makes up the sample for that point. Uh, we drive up to the sample location, and uh, we stop on the GPS sample point. Uh, then the field technician will get off and he'll take four cores. He'll step out five steps um, to the side of the ATV and then he'll go to the front of it, to the other side and to the back and it'll be a, a diamond of about 30 feet by 30 feet. And uh, that area is analyzed and then all the core goes into the bag and is analyzed at the lab. One of the most important factors in getting a good quality soil sample is to take it at the correct depth. Uh, in Illinois, we take soil samples at the depth of seven inches, and uh, every sample needs to be consistently at seven inches. If we don't do this, if we're too shallow or too deep, it has a pretty profound impact on the results. Uh, sampling our soils is very important to us. We want to get a baseline of where our fertility is at within our fields, and taking that sample gives us the baseline to kind of know where our fertility is at and what we need to be applying for nutrients. I soil test because I want to be a good steward of the ground. I don't want to over apply, but I also don't want to be under applying. I want to raise that best crop I possibly can with the tools I have available.